Hi, Matt here with Penley's Plentiful Pets Arizona Fish Rescue. Rescue? What is that? All of these. All of these are rescued fish tanks where we go out to your place and rescue your fish, your fish tank, and eventually try to find a new home for them. All of these fish tanks are available. If you're interested, please comment. Also, curious how we do this? Why don't you tag along? Let's go for a ride. Hi there, Matt here with Penley's Plentiful Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. We're here to rescue this giant 220 gallon tank at Besides the Point Bar in Laughlin, Nevada. Come check it out. Alrighty, so here's this massive 220 gallon fish tank we're rescuing. Let me get that camera real quick, see if we can get a better view. Alrighty, we've got some guamis in here, a bunch of decora, a little bit of bubbler filtration. We've got silver dollars in the back. All these guys will be available for anyone interested, including this giant, beautiful tank. We're going to try and get this stand off, but no promises. We will see if it lets us. So please tag along and enjoy. We're going to try and keep this tubing out of the way of the bartender in case we get busy. Better, better be safe than sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, looking forward to it. Okay, so we have this tube, but instead of doing gravity flow, we need to attach this pump here that does 250 gallons per hour at least, if not more. This thing drains my 100 gallon tanks in less than 10 minutes. Well, I'm glad it was sitting out in 115 degrees, getting nice and warmed up for me so it fit right on here. Okay. I'm gonna put this up here. Understand that one. Where is our plug-in? I'm not used to plugging in over here. I know our cords go, is it hiding underneath here? Okay, thank you. I'm just blind. So yeah, this will start draining and doing its thing. I'm going to fill up that five gallon bucket. We're going to start catching fish and go from there. Thank you for watching everybody. So I'm going to need Eventually, we're going to start taking everything off of the top, everything out of the tank. That's why I'm getting all of this prepped right now. So I'll probably be up there and start handing stuff to you, Ross. Thank you. We're at Besides the Point Bar, Penley's Plentiful Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. Thank you for watching, everybody. Getting a bucket ready for the fishies. Okay. I really like silver dollars. You could definitely keep those when you get your other tank up and running. I would keep them. They can go. All right, let me empty out this tote and we're going to start grabbing decor, Ross. I'll start handing it to you. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't blame you. It's too hot out here. 120 degrees, it feels like. Okay. Oh, it's brutal out here. Do you want any of your tools still for when you have your other tank? Want to put those off to the side for you? Okay. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep the bubblers. I would uh, I'm gonna keep that with your gravel and stuff as well because the bubblers are another form of filtration and oxygen. It, you're still gonna need it in your next tank. And this is also holding the bacteria as well from previously. So we're gonna unplug everything but the light and bring everything down. We've got some old bubblers up here. We have some wave makers in here. Do you want to keep the wave makers or recommend getting some new ones at this point? These are a little old. I'd probably get some newer ones. Okay, just let me know. If you want to keep them, just let me know what you want to keep so I'm not taking it. Okay, okay, sounds like a plan. Thank you. Okay, here's bubblers, bubblers, and well, with a tank this size, it also just depends on the fish you have. So, like most fish, besides like cichlids, don't really need the wave makers. 
And then there's other fish I've learned that do. I got iridescent sharks and they're like this big right now, but they get massive. And I haven't been able to get them to grow in over six months. And I'm like, what's going on? I put the wave maker in there and in less than a week, they've almost doubled in size. Oh, really? Yeah. They love that river flow. They're, ah! they're a fast flowing paste river fish. Cause the, like the iridescent sharks are found off the river and only the river. So they sleep swimming. Right. Yeah. Okay. We've got some old power cords. We got to figure out down there if we can get these power cords disconnected, Ross, maybe. We're gonna, I think this whole topper is gonna have to come off because a lot of these things are pinned down with this topper. Yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. I have this in the way. Let's unplug this real quick and I'll take this out. See all of this stuff. Here's our wave maker. Let me go off to the side. Let's get this topper off so that way we can get disconnect the wires. Okay, hold on, hold on. We've got wires connected here that are ran through that. Why is that ran through that? How do they, cause they, they cut the wire and rewired it to go through that. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Let's just sit here for a second. People, man, the King's Jimmy rigging. Okay. We're going to need to get this unplugged wherever this is plugged into this power source. Yeah. Look at that. This is how they did it. Here's the orange wire. Yeah. Yep. Yep. This is the sump. We have to take this out as well. This needs to come out. We need to figure out how to disconnect this. He'll be okay. I swear to God, I do not consent to being recorded. Don't add it in your videos when you post it on either. Okay. Okay. Got you, buddy. Thank you. Yeah. It was on accident. I'm trying to disconnect this. Is there a way to... Oh. There's no drawer underneath there. Why is this not popping off? What is this? It's this tubing piece under here because we got to get this sump underneath so we can get this wiring taken off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here, it's disconnected. So then, this is the filtration system. On a big tank like this, they need sumps. Like there's another one right here. Hold on. There's PVC connected to this that's clamped onto this. I'm gonna need that big uh, um, crescent wrench. What crescent wrench? The big one that's in the front of the car, front of the truck and the seats, because look, we gotta take this off. <sighs> Wonderful stuff, eh? So we're all disconnected here. I have to figure out how we're gonna pull this through here. I have to completely re-unwire this. So we're gonna have to disconnect this. Sit here and unravel all this so that way I can disconnect this so I can run that through here so that way we can get the topper off and start getting everything else off the top. Okay, so this, ta-da, all that work for this. Just to, just to disconnect these here. Because now this wire. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Dang. Okay, hey, we got that disconnected. Now, I believe we have a light over there part that we need to disconnect. Need to make sure my mic is consistently working. If not, then I'll have to disconnect. Okay. This doesn't need to be on here anymore. 
disconnected, disconnected. All right, Ross, I believe we're ready to go take this out to the trailer. You think you got it? Thank you. I appreciate you, man. Okay, here's the tubing. Electrical. Oh. oh, that's fish for you. But I'm not draining it right now either. I'm trying to get all this cleared off so I can start draining because I don't want it to get to the point where it becomes too low. Okay. Sensor, this light does not work. Wave maker. If you look on top, this is 20 years worth of water hardness built up top here in dust 20 30 years at least okay stuff you guys are keeping Ross, i'm gonna start pulling out the core and handing it to you in this tote right here we're ready to start this back up and keep draining now that everything is off the top okay so <laughs> They're keeping this. I need to keep all the sponge filters. Is yeah. that? Uh, that's theirs. They want to keep the wave makers. So that's the, their bucket. Yep. That's theirs. Heater. Always they want their heaters. I don't believe in heaters. Wave makers, theirs. Okay, so that tote or that bucket right there, we need to keep open. We got to find all these fishies now that it's cloudy. Okay, you got a guami in here. Some silver dollars. Another silver dollar. Got another silver dollar. Oh. Got something in here. Uh, Guami and a clown pleco. Guami, blue guami. Ooh. But we got a rainbow, big old rainbow shark. And I think we're gonna have to put, put a, yeah, put the bubbler in there as soon as possible. There's a lot of fish in there we gotta take home and they'll be getting taken care of back at the facility and you'll see us take them and put them in the facility when we get back and I'll show you all the quarantine how that works here's a clown loach thank you I swear the fish can hear you talk to them they know what you're saying I asked him politely to get in the net and he got in the net guys like you're going to another home Thank you. Wow, I told him he's going to another home and he literally dashed into the net. Tell you, man, they listen to you. There, we're starting to get super low. So, this bucket, put all this stuff off to the side. I'm going to need this to stay up here. 
This is going to continue to drain the rest that it can, but I need to make a hole even deeper so we can keep draining the water. I'm just getting the sand out. I just got to get all this into here now. And then any of these big pieces of rock, we're almost there. We're almost ready to bust her loose. Just gotta scoop all this out. Saying like other people try to move that yeah. ain't gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. And the tote. Yeah, yeah. Ha. Uh, Mr. Fishman, what would you yeah. like to say about your new fun job? Exciting. <laughs> I love this job, man. I just love doing this. Who else can say that they get to, they get to come out to a bar and take a fish tank and refacilitate it in their facility and home monsters? Not a lot of people. I know. Well, we're about half a bucket. We need about one more bucket and we're done. <laughs> oh, we're almost done. Okay, I think we're ready. Out of the hole. We need to tip the top, so hold the bottom and tip this top. Yep, there we go. Okay. And then which way do we want to go? Anything? Wrapping it around, wrapping it around. Underneath over here. Oh, wow, this is actually really light. Oh, yeah, this is... Hey! Hey! <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right, you ready, William? Let's go. Lift up. Lift up. Up. <laughs> I'm surprised. This is a lot lighter than we expected. You ready? Go, William. I'm following you to the truck. Do you need help? Call for assistance. We'll be right there, man. Steal in the tank. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'm going to do a little outro. William, can you? Oh, that was a long hour and a half getting all that done. Thank you so much for all my volunteers. My buddy Ross, William, Jeff inside. We're at besides the point, rescuing this 225, 220, 250, something like that giant fish tank. We're exhausted. It's 115 degrees out here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'm Matt with Penley's Plentiful Pets, Arizona Fish Rescue. Have a wonderful morning, day, or night.